Hi all, this is Vangri Krishna from Chris Software Solutions. In this video, we are going to discuss about the uh, power of XPath. How to locate the elements? With the using XPath, you can able to locate any element. Coming to the Selenium part, locating the element is the heart of Selenium. If you know how to locate the particular element or any element, then with Selenium, you can play with selenium like anything so that is the reason I am, I am doing this video to make you all understand the power of X path how to locate any element which you are getting in your applications and all I am going to cover from beginner to the uh, advanced level in the X path after this video you can able to locate any element any element on any application there is no uh, doubt about it right fine before going to discuss about the X path I want to cover what is HTML, what is tag name, what is attribute and how the tag names and elements, what is parent, what is child, all I want to cover in the beginning and then let me enter into the X path. Let me open the any application, let me open any application, for example Google is there. I want to see the HTML of this application just right click on it inspect it okay inspect we no need of any other tool to get this inspect in chrome browser you will get it this inspect option see i inspected this one here input is there this is a tag name class is there class is a attribute and this value is a attribute value max length is a attribute and its value is this one name is the attribute name its value is q Type is the attributes, its value is text. So, what is the input's parent? This div? No. Both are in same level. Input's parent is style. Style's parent is what? Div. This div parent is again this div. Again this parent is div. Again this div's parent is what? Style? No. Because both are in same level. Same level you can see here. This div's parent is this div. So, in the HTML, HTML is the root tag. Root tag means it is the main tag or high level tag which is parent to all other tags. So HTML is the root tag and these all are sub tags or chains in the HTML. But so coming to the this particular page, HTML is the root tag, T head is there, T body is there, under that style tags are there. You, you can see similarly Google search is there see here input is the tag name class is a attribute and its value value is a attribute and its value area label is a attribute and its value is there similarly you can search with advertisement is there see here what is the tag name here a is the tag name it is a anchor tag and its class class is a attribute and its value href is a attribute and its value like this way you need to work on it okay similarly i want to locate this sign on okay so this is the one what what is the tag name here a is the tag name href is a attribute and its value you are getting text at the ending before of the tag ending this we are calling as a link text this we are calling as a link text we can call it as a link text can call it as a link text similarly contact i want to identify see here a is a anchor tag and href is a attribute and its value contact before closing of the tag we are having some text that is a link text so this text whatever the contact is there this is a link text okay fine similarly i want to locate this username how you can understand the uh, HTML first. What is the tag name here? Input is a tag name. Type. Type is type attribute value is text. Name attribute value is username. And its parent is this td. This td's parent is tr. This tr's parent is tbody. tbody's parent is table. Okay. Uh, so similarly, t table's child is tbody. tbody's having here in this case two uh, two childs are there. In the second child, first child is td and another child is td. 
in this study we are having another child of tag name input like this way you need to understand the html beginning okay i hope you understand the html what is tag name what is attribute value what is attribute and what is link text what is parent what is child i hope you understand all these things very well next we are going to see about the now let we enter into the xpath part so there are two types of xpaths are there absolute xpath and the relative xpath absolute xpath talks about from root level parent i mean root level i already told you html from html to your specific element all the hierarchy we need to write so it will become a very long one that is one disadvantage and second one from root level parent to the specific element all the locu all the hierarchy you are writing it leads to fails sometimes when hierarchy changes some other child added in the middle then this hierarchy will get fail so that is the reason absolute xpath most of the times we cannot write we should not write because it may be fail whenever any uh, hierarchy changes and it is also very long one so that is about the absolute xpath in real time and all we are using relative xpath only absolute xpath from traversing from parent to child we will use single slash for the direct child or if it is a indirect child we can use the double slash double slash for the indirect child single slash for the direct child in the xpath don't confuse here i'm going to show you practically how xpath is going to work let we enter into the learning the xpath now so and before going to that see here these are all the 13 syntaxes we are having in xpath if you know these 13 you can able to locate any element on any application that is sure no doubt about it if you know how to learn uh, if you know how to work with this 13 you can locate any element on any application so carefully understand this 13 okay fine the first one what is the syntax the tag name attribute equal to value this is the first syntax let me try to write let me open any sample application okay google.com is there i want to identify the this text field just click on inspect okay click on so this is the uh this text fields element input is the tag name and the name attribute is there i want to write so to verify whether your xpath is working or not just to open the chrome inspect it and just click on control f just click on what control f okay what you need to do just to inspect it and you need to enter control f here text field is going to show you here you can validate your xpath whether it is working or not you can validate here so i want to write for this text field what is the tag name input what is the attribute name name its value is q what is our first syntax tag name attribute equal to value okay tag name is what input is the tag name and one more thing each and every attribute whatever you are using in the xpath before the attribute you need to give at the rate in the xpath syntax okay so you have to use xpath in the uh, sorry at the rate in the syntax for each and every attribute at the name equal to its value is q see here one of one only showing here it means that this is identifying successfully when you enter here this field is highlighting also so like this way why you are giving try to understand this syntax why you are giving double slash since it is not a absolute xpath it is a relative xpath so you are directly targeting the specific element you are not coming from parent to child so when you need to go for parent to child if child element itself is not locating uniquely then we need to take help of its parent otherwise you don't need its parent when specific element is not identifying uniquely then we need to take help of its parent or its ancestor okay fine so this is about the first syntax similarly i want to locate this google search this is the google search okay uh, or i want to identify the 
let me go to the some other page. I want to identify this username. This is username field. What is the tag name we are having? Input is the tag name. Name attribute is there. What is the name attribute? What what I told you? Just control F in the Mac command F. So double slash. Tag name is the input. What attribute we are using? At the rate name attribute we are using in the single quotes. You need to give the attribute value. See one of one. Username is identifying successfully. Similarly, let me try to identify the password field also. This is the password field, and what is the name? Password is there. Try to locate this element. Double slash input. again double slash input for the password field what attribute is there just right click on it inspect password its value name attributes value is at the rate name equal to single quotes you need to give the value that's it one of one password fields also identifying successfully like this way you need to work with the first syntax this is the first syntax see every attribute before you need to give the at the rate let me go to the second syntax and we will see i want to identify this google text see here this google text i want to identify so what is the google search here name is there right here its name is btnk is there okay let me try to use the name btnk how many i am getting here one of two it means that two two google searches are there somewhere but what is our element it is two of two is ours in these cases you can use the indexing also in this syntax you can use the indexing see now one of one only showing here your google search is identifying successfully so in this case you can use the indexing whenever more than one element is there to locate the particular element we can use the indexing that is our second syntax coming back to the third syntax using the multiple attributes to identify the particular element so now this username is there i want to if one attribute it is not working i want to use multiple attributes to locate that particular element so one is another is type type is password is there i want to use another attribute also to locate the particular element at the rate type equal to password see one of one it is showing here and it is able to locate the particular element like this way you can use multiple attributes also to locate the particular element and also any one attribute is fine for me in that case r also you can use in that case r operator also you can use or you need multiple attributes then and operator also you can use these are all the next fourth syntax and fifth syntax you can use r operator and you can use and operator also because any one attribute is fine for you then we know then we can use the r uh, r operator or you need both the attributes to identify the particular element then you can use the and operator next sixth syntax we are traversing from parent to child i, I told you single slash is for direct child double slash is for indirect child indirect child indirect child we can use the double slash i will explain you what is single slash and direct slash in this case let me take a particular element here sign on is there see sign on what is the tag name here yanker tag is there okay yanker tag is there and any other attributes href attribute is there its value is this one sign on is here what is sign on sign on is link text before ending the tag before ending the tag some text is there that is the link text 
that is a link text we can use that also now my requirement is i want to identify this this uh, link using its parent using its parent i want to locate this particular link let me try this class name is what and what is the tag name td is a tag name here okay td class is mouse out is there let me see td at the rate class is the attribute right at the rate equal to mouse out i am able to look at slash a slash a how many are there how many links are there here but try to understand here try to understand here i have written the till this point it is a my parent i have given single slash single slash is for my direct child a anchor tag how many anchor tags are there one of four are there what are all those see here one of four register support contact so four links are there can i give you have one here no so in this syntax uh, i i need to give here anchor tags of one see here my first one is working fine by using the indexing you can use here but do we have given here any of uh, this link related attributes here no we are traversing from parent to child this is my parent this td is my parent and um, its child is my link okay so like this way single slash we can use here single slash for direct child and also same syntax will work for double slash also because double slash for either direct or indirect both will work with double slash but recommended is if it is a direct one use single slash if it is a indirect child use the double slash for example in this case only i want to use my direct or uh, indirect one this td i am using but i want to traverse from I, i want to traverse from my table this table i want to use here okay this table i want to use here this table is its direct parent no this td's direct parent is t body and t body's parent is t table so it is not direct parent so i need to use the double slash table okay now also it is working fine see here but if we will give single slash here is it going to work no why it is not working because this td is not the direct child for table it is a indirect child in the middle t body is there that is the reason i am giving double slash when if it is not a direct child you need to give the double slash okay so like that how you can work with the single slash and double slash and all okay similarly here home is there i want to identify this home any attributes are there here a is there no attributes are there here only link text is there only link text is there how to identify using link text see the syntaxes you can identify using link text by using the 11th syntax do i have given at the rate before text no because text is not a attribute text is not a attribute that is the reason we are not giving at the rate before the text so how we can identify see here this home i want to identify how you need to write it home is a link text here a text equal to home like this way you need to write it is a link text okay text before text you should not give the at the rate fine i want to similarly identify the register register is having any other attribute no only link text is there similarly there is text equal to register i am able to identify the register here okay like this way business travel some link is there i want to identify this one see here oh business and after that space is there travel about.com is there but my requirement is i want to identify this only by using business i don't want to give entire thing see this entire string is there 
this entire string is there but i want to identify for example only by using this one this text is it possible yes it is possible for that we need to use the other syntax starts with syntax or ends with ends with we don't have in here but we can use the starts with or contains i'm going to use now contains syntax see here how we can write the contains sy syntax what is the tag name tag name is a contains contains or what is the tag name link text it is a link text text travel.com close close see one of one do we have given complete text here no this is our complete text business travel about dot com but i have given only partial text of the link text that we can use contains here by using contains syntax you can locate any element part of the link text you can use to locate any element mainly it is used for some cases so many lines of text will be there we don't want to use the entire text we want to use partial text in it then we can use the contains syntax okay fine similarly i want to use starts with syntax in this case only but i want to i, I want to use the only business i want to use let me try with business it is working or not so same syntax i am going to give business but i am changing it to starts with see it is working fine only one link starts with starts with means starting of the link text we need to give there or starting of the any attribute text we need to give there starts with not only for link text any attribute we can use it if you don't want to give uh, your complete link text or complete attribute name attribute value then you can use the starts with okay you don't want to give the complete attribute value then you can use the starts with starts with you need to give the beginning of the text and also in real time sometimes after starting text the remaining rest of the text is changing continuously in the run time we cannot identify using that text then also we can use the starts with okay fine similarly uh, we completed with the starts with and contains this one uh, and 11th one is also text we have used the 10th one is very very important for us 10th one is very very important for us 10th one is talks about reverse traversing i want to traverse i want to go from my child to my parent in the uh, in the google and all you may get precedings and siblings uh, preceding siblings and all you are going to get it in the x path but in my point of view you don't need all those preceding siblings syntaxes and all by using this 10th syntax you can traverse from your child to your parent from your child to your parent easily you can traverse by using this syntax how it is how we can able to traverse we can see here for example i want to identify my username using my password my syntax is i have my password okay i have my password i want to identify i want to identify my username using my password how we can do that i want to locate my username using password is it possible yes it is possible with 10th syntax let me try that i am trying to locate my password see here this is my password name attribute is there i am naming i am using the name what is the tag name tag name is input at the rate name equal to password so okay one of one okay we are able to identify the password but my requirement is what i want to locate my username using password how you can do that so now i want to traverse to my parent and its parent is tr 
okay and its parent is tr tr's parent is let me see here okay so for now this parent this this parent is this td td parent is tr let me write here slash double dot slash then control goes to where its parent again one more level dot dot slash will goes to the one more level of parent okay so now two levels we are going up this is one level and this is two level next what is its tr's parent t body so we are traversing one more level you can see here one of one now where we are this t body we are see can you understand here we are traversing from child to parent we are not using any preceding syntax we are not using any sibling syntax we don't need all those syntaxes with this syntax it is very very important now we are at the t body now i need to traverse to the where now i need to traverse to first this tr it is it is tr of 2 and in this i need to traverse to td of 2 slash input you got my point see i did not used any of the locate uh, attributes of the pass username i did not used any locators of the username but i am able to locate the element see i am able to get the username because i identified this password i went to its parents and i re reverse traverse to again username this is very very important syntax okay similarly th this sign sign in is there okay sign on is there okay fine i want to with the help of sign on i want to identify register i want to identify register how we can do that first let we identify the sign on what is the sign on's link text right it is a link text text we should not give at the rate it is a link text sign on we are able to identify what is its parent where is my register is here i want to go its parent slash dot dot slash slash dot dot oh sorry uh, i want to go its parent now its parent i am having now again i want to go its parent now i am at the tr i am at the tr now i want to come to the this td this td is having this anchor link now i want to come to the td this is td of 1 this is td of 2 td of 2 slash a see here without using register without using register attributes i am able to identify the sign on without any issues without any issues i am able to identify that like this how you can use the dot dot slash to traversing from your child to your parent from parent to child already you know if it is a direct child then you can use the single slash if it is a indirect child indirect child means let me give you more information it is tr its child is td its child is anchor tag for this tr this anchor tag is a indirect child it is not a direct child td is direct child and this anchor tag is a indirect child grand child okay so grand child case we need to use the double slash direct child you need to use the single slash okay but double slash will work for both direct and indirect okay like this way and this uh, till now we have done with the 11 syntaxes and the 12th one one more function we are having last function by using that we can identify the uh, particular elements like see for example this country is there let me inspect this i am having so many options in it 
okay i want to use the last function so coming to the this uh, last syntax uh, this one is option by using the last okay how we can use the last you can see here so in this case we are going to see about this united states is there try to click on the inspect we are having the select and its ta uh, name tag name name is the attribute and its value you can see here select is the tag name at the rate name is the attribute equal to its value okay and i want to option total how many options are there in this drop down 264 options are there I want to locate last element in this. This is my last element, Zimbabwe. So by using last function, you can locate the last element in the list. Okay, or you can use last minus three also. From last third element, it is going to identify for us. So like this way, these are all the 13 syntaxes. If you understand very well, you can able to locate any element on any application there is no doubt about it you can able to locate any element on any application now let me go to the some other application amazon application is there we will try some more exports here i want to locate this mobiles how you can do this what attribute it is having name is the anchor tag okay sorry tag name is a anchor tag and mobiles is the link test we are having please remember our syntaxes how we can write so by using link text do we need to use the at the rate no because text is not a attribute see mobiles is identifying successfully similarly i want to identify this text field how you can identify this text field so input is the tag name it is having id let me try with id it is a input tag do we need to give at the rate for id yes it is a attribute see we are able to successfully one of one is getting or i want to identify this text can we try how we can write the xpath for this tag name is h2 and this is my uh, link text so how we can write in this case i want to use only medicines and more i don't want to use entire text to identify my element i want to use only medicines and more how we can do this i want to use only medicines and more which syntax did you remember contains we need to use slash slash h2 contains text see text is identifying successfully so you can play with the n number of expats those 13 syntaxes are very much enough for you I am assuring you, you can able to locate any element with any complexity. So if you are not able to locate any element, please share me uh, in the chat box. I am going to help you on that. See upgrade your home, see more or I want to, I want to identify, uh, connect with us text, I want to identify similar. Same connect with us text is there, it is a dev field div text equal to connect with us you can able to locate any element no doubt about it let me and also i'm going to show you one more xpath i'm searching with bluetooth speaker for example i want to locate the best scenario for assignment i'm giving to you all is search with any in amazon write all these details into the xpath write a dynamic xpath 
write all these details see number of pages are there all these details into excel okay so then that is the best scenario to locate the particular element see i want to locate this first element how you can locate you can locate by using see tag name is span is there class is there so it it is not having any values here link is there and this div is there so let me check one more time inspect it this span is containing text normal and here some more text is there see this is the link text we are having already you know how to locate the link text similarly you need to write a dynamic xpath to write to read all these uh, items into the excel okay you can try that and let me know if you are able to get it or not like this way we can work with the xpaths with these 13 syntaxes you can locate any element on any application no doubt about it okay that's all for this video if you like this video please like us share us encourage us to do more videos and all thank you so much thanks for your time